All right, students, this is a video showing you how to create cross tabs or what we refer to as bivariate tables in SPSS. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on analyze and then descriptive statistics. Then you're going to come over here and then click on cross tabs. Okay. I don't want to display variable names. So let's just say I want to look at the relationship. Does your education level, does as the education level of your degree, as the independent variable, does that influence your feelings about the Bible, whether or not you think it's the word of God, the inspired word of God, or if you just think it's completely fake, whether you think it's a complete book of fables, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to find the independent variable, which in this case is a degree, and we're going to come over here and click it. And then we're gonna put our independent variable in the columns, because the independent variable is supposed to go in the columns, the dependent variable is supposed to go in the rows. Since we're supposed to find your education level of the independent variable, we want this to go into the columns. Now the next variable we need is Bible, so I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna put, like I said, the dependent variable is gonna go in the rows. Rows go side to side like a rowboat. Columns go up and down like Greek columns. So I'm going to put that in the rows. Okay. Now what I need to do at this point to make sure that my cross tabs look complete is I need to calculate the percentages. So in order to calculate the percentages, I need to, and percentages make it easier to compare amongst the different categories. So I'm going to calculate percentages by going to cells. I'm going to click on cells. Then I'm going to calculate percentages for the columns. Okay, now don't do it for the rows, because if you do it for the rows, what's going to happen is you're going to be reversing the analysis. Instead of looking at how your education level for your degree influences whether or not you believe in the Bible, if you were to calculate the rows instead of the columns, the percentages for the rows instead of the columns, what you would be looking at is you'd be looking at how your belief in the Bible influences whether or not you get a degree or not. So you'd be reversing the analysis, and you don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the percentages for the, the columns, press continue. And the only reason why you'd want to calculate the uh, percentages for the rows is if you, for some reason, put the independent variable in the rows. And there may be a reason why you want to do that. You know, if it's not fitting, if, you know, the cross tab isn't fitting on the page right, and then you might think that you can put it better, you could fit it better if it's in the rows. But typically, the independent variable goes in the columns, the dependent variable goes in the rows. So I'm going to press continue, I'm, and I'm going to press OK. OK, so now that I have this, um, I have my cross tab. So looking at this cross tab, we're going to look at whether or not your education level influences your belief in the Bible. Okay, So as you can see, people with less than high school education, about 53.8% of them believe that the Bible is the inspired word of God. When you look at somebody who has like a bachelor's or, or a graduate degree, graduate being like PhD, um, a master's, juris, doctorate, MBA, things like that, they're much less likely to think that the Bible is the inspired word of God. Okay? Well, of course, if you contrast that, if you look at um, the percentage of people who think that the Bible is a book of fables, if you have a graduate degree or a bachelor's degree, you're much more likely to think that it's a book of fables than somebody who has less than high school uh, levels of education. So as you can see, there's clearly a relationship here between these two variables. Now in this chapter, we also learned about something we refer to as elaboration. That is using control variables to further explore the relationship between two, two variables in a cross tab. Okay. So how do you introduce a control variable and how do you do this elaboration? So what, what, what are you going to do is you're going to go back to where we were at. You're going to click on analyze. You're going to click on analyze. And you click on descriptive statistics, and you're going to go back to that cross tab section. And you may have noticed that there's a layer here. So what you can do is you can put in a layer. You can do any layer that you want to, like you know, to, uh, well, these degree. Maybe you'll use social class. Here I'm just going to use sex to compare male versus female and see whether or not your sex influences this relationship. I'm going to click this in, um, and I'm going to press OK. Okay, now as we see, we have the total here. So this is what we just looked at, the total, which is combines the males and the females together. So the same percentages as what you would see up here. Now this one separates the males from the females. So, is, so does your sex, does that influence the relationship at all? And looking at this relationship for males, as your education level goes up, your belief in the Bible as the, as the actual word of God decreases. Um, 
And then for females, it appears to be the same relationship. That is, as your education level increases, your likelihood of believing that the Bible is the direct word of God, again, also decreases. So as we can see, once we introduce this control variable sex, it doesn't seem to have much of an effect on whether or not uh, you believe that the Bible is the, uh, whether or not uh, the uh, degree will influence whether or not you believe the Bible is the inspired word of God. So in this one, sex obviously wouldn't be a good control variable, but it just kind of shows you how it is that you can go about using control variables. Um, that's really all you really need to do for uh, this chapter with regards to, with regards to SPSS. So uh, this is going to be a short video.